Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionellus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's resume our playlist called Ever Wonder Why? Today's topic is, why did John F. Kennedy develop darkened skin throughout his lifetime? Have you ever wondered why? This is a great opportunity to understand pathophysiology. So, let's get started. Today is the seventh video in this lovely playlist. In the first video, we talked about the story of Nagma and why is Nagma hyperchloremic. Whenever I have normal anion gap metabolic acidosis, my chloride level in the blood is going to be high. Ever wondered why? The second video was about why is Hagma normochloremic. In the third video, I've told you why duodenal ulcer pain improves when you eat, unlike gastric ulcer. Ever wonder why? In the fourth video, we talked about the fact that multiple myeloma has a low anion gap. Why? In the fifth video, we talked about why Lambert Eaton myasthenic syndrome has autonomic symptoms, but myasthenia gravis does not have these symptoms. Why? And in the last video, I've told you why patients with tetralogy of fallow squat and reverse the flow. Have you ever wondered why the late United States President John F. Kennedy had darkened skin? Back to the basics. As you remember, the hypothalamus is the chief executive officer of the endocrine system. Who is the general manager? Pituitary. Who is under the hypothalamus? Under the pituitary, we have the three employees, thyroid gland, adrenal cortex, and gonads. They obey the general manager. But do you remember who are the independent contractors that do not listen to the pituitary? Instead of thyroid, say parathyroid. Instead of adrenal cortex, say adrenal medulla. And last thing is the endocrine pancreas. Let's review what we have discussed before. Here is your hypothalamus, right? Yeah, it secretes corticotropin-releasing hormone, okay, which goes to the anterior pituitary, specifically to a basophil, to tell her to secrete adrenocorticotropic hormone. Adreno, because it's going to the adrenal gland. Cortico, it's going to the adrenal cortex, tropic growth hormone. Oh, I'm going to make the adrenal cortex grow. Grow to do what? To secrete cortisol and some adrenal androns. Hey, medicosis, how about aldosterone? Shut up. Aldosterone is not under the influence of ACTH. Aldosterone is under the influence of angiotensin II. Boom. Roasted. So far, you know that the anterior pituitary secretes ACTH, which goes to the adrenal cortex to tell her to secrete cortisol. Yeah, I know that. Well, the story is actually kind of more complicated than this. We have hypothalamus, CRH, and then anterior pituitary. After this, proopiomelanocortin will give you ACTH, which will go to the adrenal cortex, which will secrete cortisol. The three layers of the adrenal cortex were discussed before. We have the zona glomerulosa for aldosterone, fasciculata for cortisol, reticularis for adrenal androgens. Here is what actually happens. The anterior pituitary secretes ACTH. Every time the anterior pituitary secretes ACTH, the anterior pituitary cannot help herself. She has to secrete MSH as well. The pituitary cannot make this without this. Why medicosis? because both of them have a singular precursor, and this is Mr. POMC, pro-opiumelanocortin. The anterior pituitary is going to make POMC, and then POMC is going to give you ACTH and MSH. ACTH is called the adrenal corticotropic hormone, it's going to the adrenal cortex to tell her to secrete cortisol, but the MSH, melanocyte stimulating hormone, is going to melanocytes to tell them to secrete melanin. But for the pros, this is actually, actually, actually what happens. Anterior pituitary secretes pro melanocortin. It's a protein. As you know, proteins have an N-terminus on one hand and COOH on the opposite side. The N-terminus will give you N-terminal protein. The COOH terminus will give you beta lipotropin. And in the middle, you have ACTH and alpha MSH. Tell me about the N-terminal protein. It's going to give you gamma MSH. How about the beta lipotropin, which came from the carboxyl side? This will give you beta endorphin, the natural endogenous painkiller. Beta MSH, which stimulates the melanocytes to secrete melanin. That's why the name of this protein is what? Pro 
in medicine pro it doesn't mean professional because let's let's face it most doctors are doofuses pro here means pre before a precursor to to what to three things it's pro opio why because it give you an opioid what do you mean a natural endorphin oh it's like morphine but natural that's right it's an opium. Yeah, that's why we call it opio. Milano. Why? Because it gives you MSH, which will give you melanin from the Milano side. And then cotton. Why? Because it's going to give you ACTH, which will stimulate the adrenal cortex to secrete cortisol. That's why it's pro opio, pro Milano, pro cotton, aka pro opio Milano cotton. Beautiful. Whoever named this schmuck protein did a very good job. That's a good name. So your anterior pituitary makes POMC, which is going to give us ACTH and eventually beta MSH. All right. Under normal circumstances, the amount of MSH coming out of the anterior pituitary is very small. It's negligible. It plays almost no physiological role. However, under pathological conditions when the pituitary is dishing out tons of hormones, tons of POMC, you can't help it but secrete tons of MSH. Now this is gonna make a difference. This is why John F. Kennedy had darkened skin because his pituitary was secreting too much POMC, which led to increased MSH, which went to the melanocytes and induced him to secrete more melanin. Hashtag hyperpigmentation. I've told you before and I'll tell you again, the pituitary is not the only organ that makes POMC. The hypothalamus, arcuate nucleus near the satiety center, can also secrete POMC. This POMC is a little different. Why? It can give you MSH. Okay, that's not unique. I know that any POMC can give me uh, MSH. That's not peculiar. Okay, what is peculiar is this POMC is dependent on an enzyme known as PC2, pro-hormone convertase 2, which tells the POMC, hey POMC, you are allowed to make some MSH, but you are not allowed to secrete ACTH. Only the anterior pituitary can, because it's a different enzyme. That's why when you study physiology, we tell you that anterior pituitary secretes ACTH. Have you ever heard of a hypothalamus secreting ACTH? It doesn't happen, even though hypothalamus has POMC. But it's a POMC that is barren, metaphorically speaking. It cannot secrete ACTH, only MSH. Why does the hypothalamus need the POMC in the satiety center? Because this POMC has a different function. It can lower your appetite and increase energy expenditure. So here is a theoretical practice for you. If you can develop a technique or a medication that can decrease appetite and increase energy expenditure, you might help patients lose weight. But of course, as Dr. Thomas Sold said, there are no solutions in life. There are only trade-offs. Even after you discover this medication, it's going to have some side effects. It's in the nature of things. What kind of side effects is an empirical question, not a foregone conclusion. So now you know why JFK had darkened skin, because JFK had Addison disease. Addison disease is usually an autoimmune disease. You have nasty autoantibodies destroying your own body. In this case, destroying the adrenal cortex. Now the adrenal cortex cannot secrete cortisol. Cortisol is going to go down. As a negative feedback, the anterior pituitary is going to try to shout louder. Shout what? Profanities? Shut up. It shouts out POMC, trying to increase ACTH, to try to tell the adrenal cortex, hey, hey, come on, make some cortisol. But every time the anterior pituitary secretes more ACTH, she can't help herself. She has to secrete lots of MSH, and that's why he had hyperpigmentation. Rest in peace, Johnny. Rest in peace. If you like this video, you will adore my endocrine pharmacology course. It comes with 10 videos, 10 cases, notes, and mind map. You can download this right now. Learn about estrogens, progesterone, T3, T4, different types of insulin, calculation of the insulin dose depending on the patient condition, cortisol, and many others. Only at medicosisperfectionalis.com. And for a limited time, get a 60% discount towards any product on my website by using promo code NEWYEARLEARNING.
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website, download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.